The deity's head and hands are missing, severed as if by a sword. You can't tell if this was meant to be symbolic somehow, or a mere act of vandalism. As you take in its chiseled details, you have a vision. The statue comes to life and embraces you awkwardly with its broken arms. Unable to resist, you're flown away into an endless dark. That shrine seems to have brought me here. What is this place? The helmeted figure before you slowly turns to face you. He raises his weapon, a great ethereal sword, and rushes forward, ready to strike you. The figure plants a foot before you and swings his sword down, hard, stopping short just over the base of your scarf. The sword seems to hesitate, enticing the fine hairs on your neck upward. Your struggle is meaningless. You are too weak. The wound forms, then heals, then forms again as you rise. The figure spins away from you, observes you through narrowed eyes. He springs forward again, faster this time, ready to strike a second blow. The figure charges you head on, ready to plunge the sword into your chest. As he charges, he suddenly evaporates into the ether, passing through your body. Deep, dark cold blooms in every particle of your body. The figure materializes behind you and grabs your head with one hand, pressing his sword to your throat with the other. If you so much as breathe too suddenly, it will slice your jugular with ease. You... You are my champion? How I wasted my efforts saving you as the ship went down. Why should I do as you say? You were so easy to best. He staggers back, holding his nose. The wound on your neck quickly knits together. He smiles. You may do well after all. Recognize me. You are my champion, and I am your god. He lifts his visor. Two deep green eyes fix you in their stare. In an instant, you know you are speaking to Ralik, god of all humans. You have brought yourself. This gives me hope. I see a spark in you. The beginnings of a fire that may blaze our path back to preeminence in Rivalon. This is why I have chosen you to lead humankind back toward divinity. This is why you are my selected. My god woken. Let me show you. A great surge of power arrests your heart, your mind. When it passes, you feel ecstatic, replete. You may have noticed I've tried to help you on your journey. I blessed the water beneath your feet so that it would aid you. Now you have the power for yourself. And this is only the beginning. More and greater powers await you, if only you will seek them. Only one like you can wield them. One marked for greatness. One who can either rise to this great task, or let her people fall to ruin. Your purpose will be great, but the first step is simple. Escape the grasp of those who would do you harm. You and you alone must safely leave this place. You and you alone must rise above the reach of minor people. Radic visibly bristles at the mention of your companions. I am not the only of the seven seeking a champion, my child. Your friends may have been similarly summoned by powers that threaten the very existence of our race. He casts his gaze over the war below, where God fights God in a relentless, bloodless battle. Times have changed. The gods are at war. 
The victor will choose the terms of peace. If we fail, if you fail, our race may well be lost. A father knows when he may trust in his children and when he must intervene. I know that you will succeed if you choose it. Do not disappoint me. Sibyl is pensively tracing a new name on her arm, gilded letters in an ancient alphabet. Sibyl. My own name. A little gift from Tyrs and Dilius. <laughs> Leave it to a god to be overly dramatic. Don't read too much into it. Must be a celestial party game. Or maybe he wanted to teach me a lesson. If the latter, he has much to learn. <laughs> <laughs> 